Hello everyone, this is Steel from Studio Blue, and today we have ourselves an RPG Maker tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to take a live character and make them into a dead character. Specifically, we are taking a normal walking graphic and turning it into a damage graphic. This is just for RPG Maker MV, so let's jump right on into it. First thing you want to do is you want to open up your sheet with your walking character. So here we have Marlo and you want to get a marquee tool and just pull out the middle graphic of him walking to the left to make sure you get exactly, in fact you might want to put it on snap just to make sure you grab only the image of him walking to the left, the middle graphic where his legs are together. So we're going to go ahead and copy then we want to move over to our other sheet. And this is really important we have to make sure that the horizontal aspect of the, sh of the grid is the same as the vertical aspect of the walking sheet. So as you can see the walking sheet here is 48 pixels high. So we have to have the horizontal pixels be 40, 48. Yeah, and I need to turn on snap on here too to show you what I mean. See there we go, 48. Alright, so now that we have it at the right size we're going to go ahead and we're turn snap off because this is a slightly delicate operation. We're going to paste. All right, so there's Marlow. And now we're going to take Marlow and we're going to making sure his layer is selected. Go up here to edit, transform, and we're going to rotate him 90 degrees counterclockwise so that he's laying like this. Then we're going to zoom up real close because we're about to operate on him on the operating table. Here we go. All right, now we're going to take the lasso tool, and this is the reason why we're going to have the uh, snap off. Snap would totally ruin this and make it very difficult. So we're going to use the lasso tool, and we are going to outline and remove the character's head. We're going to put it over here. <laughs> then we're going to use the same lasso tool, and we're going to very careful, that's not careful, we're going to very carefully remove his arm like that and if you go over a bit just hold down alt while using the lasso tool to kind of carve out and remove the parts that are not his arm. You do not want to remove anything that is not his arm. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so now you want to take the body, the headless body, what's left of it, and you want to move it in place so that the bottom of the body is right here and the feet touch right there. Then you want to take the head, select it again, go to transform, and flip 90 degrees clockwise. No, actually we don't want to do that we want to bring it 45 degrees, my bad. So we want to just have it rotate about 45 degrees. There we go. And we want to bring it till it's touching right about here and here. So there we go. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and put it up here for now. I want to move the arm in place first. That's just me being picky. Maybe you want to have the arm in front of the face. That is your choice. That's an artistic choice. I want to have the arm underneath the, the head. So we go ahead and we just take the arm and we rotate the arm 180 degrees and then using the rotate tool this makes it just a little easier. Bring it till it's about there. then you want to place it back in its socket somewhere around here Okay. then you want to select the head and move the head back into place if again if you're deciding to put the head in front of the, the arm and I don't like how that looks so I'm going to go ahead and move the arm a little bit more this way there we go 
and now I'll move the head back in place. A lot of it is just touch and feel, deciding where you want things to go, which is how most art is. All right, so now that you have that done, go ahead and take your pencil tool here, make sure you're at one pixel width, and what you're going to be basically doing now is kind of filling in the coloration for the body that was there. So take the colors that are showing and kind of fill them fill them in. Pick, you know, the right color. There we go. Okay, that's not going. We want we want a slightly lighter color. There we go. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to kind of be indicative of the color of the, that particular shade of that part of the character. So like with Marlo, we're just kind of using what's closest matching with the boots here and, and the leggings. Then we're going to do the same thing with the rest of his costume. There we go. So we just color that in there. And generally what I like to do is I like to kind of block color the whole thing in. Make the arm socket a little bit more defined. Color that in there. And then I'm going to add some more shading. I don't like that shade. I want to go with this one. There we go. And I'm going to add in this shade here. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to add in this shade. Yeah, I like that. There we go. And I'm going to add in a little bit more here. Kind of lighten it up some. There we go. And then finally what you want to do is you want to come over here to the face and you want to take the eyebrow and move the eyebrow down. So what you're doing now is you're creating the eye while it's closed. So then grab the same color of, the, uh, of flesh as the, f the area right before the eye that's the brow and just color the eye in darken that up a little bit there we go so now when we zoom out looks like the character is lying there motionless then all you need to do then is just grab him move them over and this is where you can turn snap on and just move them into place then we create a copy we want to make sure we have copies all the way down the line for three of them because this is the way that RPG Maker graphics work and then what we want to do is we want to take him and we want to flip him horizontally and then put him in place there Duplicate that, and duplicate that. Oh, I inverted him by mistake, and duplicate that. There we go. And then we'll just kind of mash all that down into one layer, save, and there we go. So now we have taken a walking graphic and we have turned it into a damage graphic, which we can use in our game to show a character who has dropped down to zero HP. This can be used in your battle engine or out on your map, depending on what type of uh, your situation calls for. Uh, and it's pretty much very versatile. Uh, you can get even more versatile if you want to. You can create graphics of characters on their knees or stooping. Uh, those are also easy to do. If you want to see those, let me know in the comment below, and I'll show you how to make those graphics. Uh, but that's pretty much it. If you like what you saw, lay the smack down on the like button below. Leave us comments in the comments section. Connect us with Facebook, Twitter, and the RPG Maker forums. Oh, and if you want to see something, if there's anything you want to see either in Photoshop or in RPG Maker, let us know in the comments section and we'll go ahead and do it. All right, see you next video. Take care.